Welcome back to the channel. What I have for you today is the monthly rivals, the one with the uh, TRD Toyota Camry. So let's get into it here. Now I know we've already driven this, earned this, modified this, made it crazy, but now it's time to make a clean lap through Grand Pantano Sprint. And as usual, I'm going to try to pilot it with the steering wheel here. It should do fairly well. I'll probably have to ease up a little bit. Let's go. Let's see how many times, <laughs> how many tries this takes. Nice V6 sounds. It does have a good exhaust. The uh, guy we're racing is very excited, so that's cool. If you guys are unfamiliar with this, you may have noticed it from some of my videos on the trial. This is a staple in a lot of those that we race. I don't know why certain ones always get featured more, but maybe I just remember them more. Now, I'm not a Toyota fan, a Toyota guy, a Toyota brand loyalist, whatever. Far from it. Um, I really do not understand what is TRD about this vehicle. Is it just a stock Toyota and they've you know, put a tuned exhaust, you know, a wild wing, you know, some other little bits and bobs as far as aero pieces go. I remember back in the day when you could get like a supercharger for your Solara, like just weirdly you'd have a supercharger. God. Anyway. Yeah, you'd have a supercharger for your Solara, you'd have a supercharger on your SUV. Not that it would make it, you know, scream in any way, it probably added five pounds of boost, but, you know, the, the thought was there, you know what I mean? As big as manufacturers are, I can't believe they don't offer more stuff like that. You know, factory turbo kits, and I guess I know why. They're either going to put them on the car or they're not, right? But I bet people would buy them. Turbo kits, I guess, are tough because you're going to blow your engine. Most cars don't come with forged internals. You know? So I just had a lapse in judgment earlier on that uh, first go-through. I was being very spirited heading towards this wall up here. So we're going to correct that right now. We're going to bring this thing in. and It, it just <laughs> it didn't respond... Um, and I, I didn't give it enough info, that's for sure. So there we go. Back in the game, 41%. Going for a nice cruise in our family sedan here. I guess the days are gone where Forza would go back and add, you know, the early 90s Hondas. So you had every flavor. I mean, they're already in the game. I, I just don't understand. Make it a car pack. Make me have to buy it. I don't know. Whatever. You know what I was thinking last night, though? Grand Theft Auto 6 has the potential to be absolutely amazing. If you guys don't know, there was this um, role-playing, like, modding software you could get called 5M. And you could get on different servers. You could play online with like the base game of, of Grand Theft Auto, but then you could kind of put whatever you wanted on top of it. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but Rockstar purchased 5M. So now, I guess they're going to add that into GTA. And yeah, it's a mature game. Yeah, it's, it's rough if you want to be. But uh, I think that's going to be amazing if you could actually get on there and have like first party support for like servers and you can kind of make it your own. Now it's probably not going to work like that because they're going to want to make their money and you won't have to, have, you won't be able to put cool cars in there and stuff, but it's definitely going to be an improvement. I can't wait for that. I think it's going to be fun. It's going to be great content. Can't wait till that comes out. The next EA skate game, Forza Horizon 6. That's what's on my horizon. There we go. Looking good. We're chilling. We beat him, of course. I wonder if you have to win or if you just have to set a clean, clean lap. I think it's just a clean lap. But on that second turn, we didn't hit the wall, miss any checkpoints or rewind. So we're good. 
And there it is. Ooh, and I knew we were going to hit it. Even though it's only a Renault Clio from 2016. That just makes it one, three, five, seven cars that we've received so far. We have two more in the next season and then the final series reward card. Now, what's weird is the series reward card that I'm talking about is the final piece of this monthly rivals Forza EV. Of course, we'll do that next week, the Lucid Air Sapphire. And as this week comes to a close, I'm looking through here to see if there's any um, rewards that I want. If there are any of these cars that you don't have that you want to get, make sure you take this opportunity to do so. You don't know when they'll be around again. And that's going to do it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be back tomorrow with something else. <laughs> and then, of course, Thursday, it may be a little late looking at my schedule, but I'm going to be back with a brand new Spring Hot Season Festival playlist. We're working towards that Durango. We get another BMW M3 from 2021 that we can modify and and keep, maybe make it a drift car, do something crazy with. I'm looking through, you know, more of the same. Two event labs, five PR stunts. You got to love it. Treasure hunt, the Eliminator making a comeback. That being said, I will see you tomorrow in the next one. Later.